Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Thursday, the 23rd of May, 2019. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad to be with you. This is Michael and my husband, and uh, he is my special guest today. Now, I'll just give you a little bit of background before I have him share, and that is that for those of you who know, uh, and many of you do, last Friday, Michael had to have surgery on his vocal cords, and uh, this rendered him speechless for five full days, which was kind of a challenge, and, uh, and I, I just think it's important that he could share with you today uh, the uh, experience that he had. Now, I do know this. I do know the outpouring, the tremendous outpouring of love and support from everybody was a very humbling thing for you. And I know you've shared that with me, how that was just an extremely humbling thing. But besides that, Michael, I would like for you to share with everybody, I'd like you to share what your uh, impressions were of having to be silent for five full days. What happened from this experience? Well, I was kind of excited, and excuse me if my voice is still healing. It's still a little froggy. But okay. I was quite excited about entering into this five days because I really wanted to enter into a time of contemplative prayer. Now, let me explain. If any of you have ever become Christians except of the Lord, you know that there was that plethora of books that were always around that spoke of the contemplative life. Uh, Fenlon, uh, Madame Guyon, Augustine, um, mm -hmm. um, and Even all Brother the Lawrence. Others, the Brother Lawrence, all of the smoke of that uh, contemplative life. And it seemed like a really good and noble thing. The contemplative life being, you know, just sitting yourself in a place and being there, receiving everything that God has for you. Well, folks, we live in a different world. And it didn't work out for me. Um, I learned some things, but it was an extreme struggle because of the world we live in and all the things that, that come with our world. But what really did work, or what I really did see, is that uh, being with the Lord or practicing the presence of God exists in our daily life, our daily routine, what we do, going to the grocery store, uh, going to the gas station, doing that kind of stuff. That's where it really becomes, in a way, a dialogue and contemplative, you know. Uh, most of us are not able to find a mountain to go sit on, you know. <laughs> and prayer and mountain. Contemplative. It, just, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't happen in this world anymore. So I learned that real fast. And rather than being disappointed, I saw that I need to continue on just with my daily routine and dialoguing. Uh, maybe having a special time of prayer. Of course, nothing wrong with that. But using my day to be um, in a dialogue with God. So it was a very important lesson for me. And that's nice. I mean, you know, I wish I could have sat on a mountain in 1400. You know, but <laughs> it, it doesn't happen in this world today, folks. That's right. Did you notice, did you notice that after the five days was up, all the things that you may have spoken or all the things you may have said weren't really that important for you to say in the first place. No, I did. I realized I didn't have a whole lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I must say, I did give him an erasable board, and he just about ran out of ink with those erasable markers because that's the way that we needed to communicate. Well, the but, challenge is picking and choosing what you are going to say and don't right? just using your words just to speak. It's you know. true, because the couple of words you might write on an erasable board, if you were speaking it to me verbally, it would have been many more words, probably. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, yeah. <laughs> see, now you have me, Froggy. Well, we have some good news. We had follow-up with his doctor early this morning, and all is well. She said, you're healing up nicely, and in about a week's time, his voice should return completely to normal. Yeah, she asked me to sing for her. I don't <laughs> Can sing. Can you do it? I don't sing. Uh, I don't sing. <laughs> I don't sing, I chortle. So, you know. uh, so continued prayers for my husband, Michael. Thank you so much for sharing today on uh, on my take two. I really appreciate That's it, Michael. Good to be it's with been you. really good. And you know what? 
Go be a blessing to somebody today, boys and girls. You might end up being the only one who isn't. Let me say this. There were countless people who were a blessing to you while you were, as you've been going through this journey. And it's really made a difference having that support, it hasn't has, it? It really has. It definitely does. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification little bell, and you'll know every time I've posted another take two. And, of course, great music, great programs programming great everything wrmz.org click that listen button and listen to my show on that's Saturday. right on Saturday and it's a pre-taped one so his voice will be normal and uh, hopefully he'll be able to come into the studio and record a few more that's heard on Saturdays at uh, 10 o'clock central time well you have a great one today, boys and girls. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'll have my unsung hero of the week. Make sure you join me for that. And Michael, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank Give you. me a kiss. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> you have a good one, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.